Hello, this is David Wormsey and today is Saturday the 23rd of September 2017 and the reason I'm telling you this is that on this video we're looking at a new plugin which has just come out in beta only a few hours ago. So I'm just warning you that if you're listening to this some months ahead of that date this may not be all kind of completely current. This is just a bit of an overview of a new product which isn't yet released and it is called WooPack and it's by WPBeaverAddons.com. They're the people who are probably best known for creating Power Pack, which is an add on pack for Beaver Builder with a ton of modules and a ton of templates and is very popular. But this is their new pack and it contains six, well, presently six modules just for WooCommerce. And on their landing page we've got here, there's just a description and no examples of how they work. And you can come here and download it yourself. I don't think you need to be a user of PowerPack to just try this out yourself and demo it and give them some feedback. But as I know, this is quite a painful thing to set up new demo shop just to be able to try this out. So this is really the purpose for this video. I've already done this and set up a live demo over at woopack.beaverjunction.com, which you can come and try out for yourself. Just before I move on to that, I ought to just quickly mention that I co-host with Nathan Wrigley a podcast called wpbuilds.com. And on episode 40, we talked to Puneet about General Things Power Pack and some other products that he's got released. But we also, or he told us for the first time about this particular product. So if you want to go and check that out, you can hear him talking about it as well. We don't talk about it too much, to be honest. So, but it's just there in case you do. Okay, right, back to my site and the demo. I don't want to bore you by going through all of the details on this, so I'll just give you as best as I can a quick overview. As with all my demos, you'll need to come to the home page. In this one, you're going to need to give us your email address, press try demo. This is then going to send you a link by email, which you need to click on, and that will then create a new copy of this site where you'll be logged in and you can do what you like because it's its own standalone site. It will probably land in your spam folder and you'll also be invited to join my newsletter, which I, at the moment I've not sent out a single newsletter, but I intend to in the future. But of course you don't need to, only if you accept the invite from MailChimp to sign up to that will you be included in that. So it's entirely up to you, but hopefully most of you know that I'm not doing this just to kind of sell stuff. I'm not going to be selling my own stuff. I just want to share stuff that's related to Beaver Builder. Okay, so let's go and take a look. I've set it up over here. So there's a page for each of the modules, but two of these modules, as you can see here, the cart module and the checkout module are kind of standard pages of WooCommerce anyway. So I've also included them over here on my WooCom pages with WooPack also attached to these. So if you're used to working with WooCommerce, you'll know that's part of their onboarding process. You can choose to have it automatically create those cart account and checkout pages for you in which they just add their own short code. Well, here you would need to overwrite them with this module. And I've done that over here. So, and the other ones, I might as well briefly discuss these before we take a look at them. The first one is product grid. So that's kind of what you would expect. It lays out in a grid format the products that you have with the images and shows those. And then you could choose what you're, how you want that kind of to be laid out. There's also a carousel module, which as you expect is like a slider of different products that you can show and you can add that to any page where you like with all of these, they're modules, so they can be added where you like on your Beaver Builder site. We have a single product module, which displays the individual product itself, and you can got some styling options with that. We've got a standalone add to cart module, which just adds that add to cart button, which could be quite useful if you've got a landing page and you just want at the bottom that a big button here that's saying to now buy this product and that will do that for you. And as mentioned before, we've got the cart and checkout pages here, which can be controlled with these two modules here. So let's take a look at the first one. And if you're kind of familiar, let me just do a refresh here. I don't know if this is something to do with beta or just my browser at the moment, but it tends to go a little bit unless I do a 
hard refresh it doesn't display properly okay so here we are let's go into the page builder itself and as I was about to say this is pretty familiar stuff if you've already used one of these kind of add-on packs there's the kind of stuff that you would expect to see that the sort of controls that allow you to style these modules without having to add lots of extra CSS and that's pretty much the power in this and as you can see over here the the plugins in so the six modules are added here and can be dragged in so let's take a look at this product grid one here and open it up so the first thing you see here is you've got four options of how to and what order to display the content in each of these ones so at the moment I've got it so we've got the image on the top here and then it's the title and then we've got the ratings if that's turned on the price and the button at the bottom I can swap this round easily now you'll notice on this one it doesn't change automatically with Ajax um, but if I save it will reconfigure that so it's done there it's just some things you can and can't do with the beaver builder if it's not existing in beaver builder then they can't do that but most of the stuff will just change on the fly and it's what you'd expect here we can set responsively the number of items and the number of columns of those items how many posts or products we're showing on a page here equal heights all the stuff we'd expect we can here decide what we're going to show whether it's from a particular set of categories or any other taxonomy or by authors we can change um i don't know quite sure what we can actually change on this we got yes they so we can have the scroll pagination or we can have the numbers here and we can style those we can do other major styling here as you can see i've put some background on this i've also put a little bit of box shadow over here which and we can change all sorts of things the positioning of let's see if that will work i don't think this will work live oh it will there we are oh yeah so we can change the sales badge on any of these and place those differently on the image and a whole ton of stuff and style in your rating colors over here as we like we can do the same thing with lots of styling and padding and coloring and uh, typography on your buttons and here's sort of general typography which allows you to choose what sort of fonts you want to use for each section of these but if you don't and leave them at the defaults it's just going to take what's in your theme anyway so i'm guessing for many people who've used these kind of add-on packs this is pretty familiar stuff you can do most of the stuff that you would normally have to do with css so can kind of speed those things up let's go and have a look at the carousel module very briefly let's go into the page builder now we've got i guess what we'd expect we can decide how many products we've got again the option to be able to order the content the way that we like and choose the number of posts we get to choose whether it's autoplay or how quickly that scrolls past we can choose whether we've got arrows as we have here or we can use dots which will fall underneath and again we can pretty much decide what we're going to show here whether we want the title the prices the ratings and all these whether we do or don't want them to show on it and yeah let's have a look at that typography allows us to change obviously individually those and of course the button which i don't think i've styled anything on the button no i haven't let's just uh let's see let's put a bit of background so you can see there uh, as you can see here but this is touching this um separator here which i could remove the separator if i wanted but also as you can see i think this will work i could add a little bit of margin and separate it from the separator there we are um okay that's enough i think of that because you can try this out for yourself i'm going to press done so I want to shave that button and let's see the single product module next. Ah, so okay, I've laid this out in this way. Let's go into the page builder and show you the basic options that are here. Again, they've got some layouts here so you can have the image to the left or the right. You can have the title on the top and the image below or have it as I've got it at the moment with the image above and the other text below. And again you can choose what you're going to show and you can do you know 
sort of basic styling that you want there as well. So I think that's pretty self-evident what that does. I'm going to save that. Probably I don't even need to show you the, the cart module because that's what it is. The one nice thing is that you can put your own custom text in, which is, I guess, going to be very useful if you've got those landing pages where you want somebody to click on the buy now button but you know you can remove that and I think it's going to just have this standard WordPress text going to be there um, not the WordPress sorry the uh, going to have the standard WooCommerce text there and I think that's pretty much it you can decide you can decide the product that you're going to display the button for and you can decide whether you're going to show the price or not so I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to discard everything here and and I will go over to them over here the cart and the checkout pages which as I mentioned earlier I've replaced the, the standard WooCommerce short code with this module and <laughs> I've knocked up something pretty hideous here just to show that you can change things you can just click on here we can see that we can decide to show the coupon which would be a setting in the back of WooCommerce normally so you can do this from the front whether to show cross sales which I haven't got any of those set up here and we can change the borders and as you can see here we can add the odds and even rows styled differently obviously I've gone to a little bit too much of the extreme over here we can also style the remove buttons here those icons and yeah so we can style pretty much everything we like here i've just added a big button here increase the text on it and the margin here i could also change the color of that update button any of these buttons here can be changed with their colors and what the hover effect is and obviously each of the sections you can set the typography as you like it and i think pretty much all i can say on that one i'm going to discard this and lastly, we will move on to the checkout page, which there's one thing I particularly like on this is that you can set it into two columns. So your forms here, you can see there, they can display like that, which I quite like because I don't like the default way that WooCommerce does that. So that's kind of nicer and you can set the widths and responsively of each of these columns as well we can add some background to the whole thing but of course i would need to then add some padding as well to make that work Just styling the buttons and the typography for each of the sections again and i guess that's me done really i won't go into too much more detail on any of these because i think probably things will change and you'll need to discover for yourself what's important to you on this and give feedback i guess before its release so thank you again for listening i hope this is useful i've had a bit of a break from doing videos while i've been on holiday but i hope to get back soon with some interviews that i've already pre-recorded and also some other tips so i look forward to talking to you again soon that's me Bye bye <laughs>